Hello YouTube, today we've got a brand new old computer. We've got a uh, Fujitsu Simmons T-Bird. Too bad it's not a Thunderbird. It's a uh, Premium 3 and we're year 2000 compliant. So this thing is around 1999 made. As you can tell from the Premium 3. Um, got two optical drives, DVD-RW. I paid 20 bucks for it. And uh, yeah, we also got a floppy drive, power button, and uh, yeah, I don't know if it's slot or uh, socket. Let's look at the back for now. Got a uh, power supply, which I'm not sure I trust, but we'll see. Got a uh, motherboard here. Don't know what motherboard. Got two uh, USBs. PS2, mouse and keyboard, got the printer port, parallel port, game port, audio on board, which is really yeah, nice. A dual monitor video card, so I'm really curious what, what, what video card this is, if a nice video. And we got broadband internet, which is nice, not dial up. At least I think it's. Uh, it should be. And a lot of dust. It's gonna get cleaned. But uh, yeah, let me take it apart. No screws on it. Gonna have to find some screws. And I'm gonna need to clean it. But yeah, let's let's take a look at the inside. Okay, it's not looking too good. <laughs> and we've got a slot one, which doesn't bother me, but uh, actually very nice. But um, yeah, bad caps. I'm gonna need to recap this. These days, I'm not sure if I want to power it up like this. It's probably not recommended. Uh, yeah. CPU is on. CPU fan connector seems to be unplugged. What is this? Is this a thermal sensor? Chase thermal sensor? What is this going to? No, it's something. We got an ETI video card. That's nice, and this uh, this was not plugged in. Oh uh, yeah, one hard drive. I don't know if this thing works. I'll be very surprised. Let's see what we got on it. What the date is actually? Okay, so it's a. Uh, This brass doesn't have auto detection, this is the specs. But what is the date? Okay, the date is 2000. I don't know what the size is, hold on. I guess we'll see in bias, but it does seem to have a bit of damage. Don't know if it's significant. Let me take everything apart and see what it is. Okay, so first of all. We have an MPX Ethernet card, not very interesting, but it is there. Second of all, we got a universal EGP, which is not always universal. Uh, radi uh, I don't know if it's a Radeon, but it's an ATI, probably a Radeon. I'm guessing maybe, maybe Radeon 7000, I don't know, let's see. ATI 7000 32MB DDR2 CRT TV Nice So we got 2 CRT and a TV <laughs> I think that's what they meant uh, Yeah, it's pretty clean Probably works We'll see Okay, onto the CPU I have no idea how to take it off Never taken one of these off Never worked on slot one uh, Okay, so let's get this out of the way, as you can see, all the caps need replacing. And this is an MSI, and the MSI was known in this period for bad caps, 99, 2000, 2001, my, uh, my MS6340 also has bad caps, but uh, one, one bad cap actually, but my K7M2 Delta 2 has none, so I think the fixed it or it was 
a more expensive board. Uh, let me figure this out. Okay, it's off. And it's a uh, Pentium 3. No, it's upside down. Pentium 3 650 with 256 kilobytes of cache. 100 megahertz FSB, 1.65 volt uh, Vicor. SL3KV, Costa Rica. Okay, uh, well, the CPU probably works. Though I do not want to power this motherboard like this. As you can see, bad VRM caps. Now, if uh, there were only bad uh, this cap here and uh, these, I would have maybe powered it on. But with bad VRM caps, I don't know. We got two bad, three bad ones. And one here, which is kind of good. But uh, yeah, let's see how much RAM we got. We got a uh, mystery stick, I think. Here. No, 256. 256, about. Focus. So, about 384, whatever. I think. Kingston, is match RAM, always nice. No, 512 megabytes. Nice. Got some jumpers here. I'm guessing one of them is the FSB and one is the multiplayer. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. That's that. The power supply. Uh, it's a cigarette dust everywhere. I don't know if I'll take a chance on the power supply. But I mean, I'll power it on sometime, see if it works. But the main thing is, we've got a case, it's not one motherboard. CPU, video card, internet card, hard drive, some optical media, and some uh, well optical drives, floppy drive. Yeah, I don't know. It's not good. MSI 61.56 version 2.1 BX7. So this is an MSI BX7, I think. Well, via Apollo, I think. And I have to recap it before I power it on, I think. Yeah, I'll see. Um, that was a floppy ID secondary. This needs to be taken off the place. An ID master. Um, yeah. So this is about it for this video. Next video I want to test all of this stuff that I can test. Internet card I don't really care for. I mean, I'm gonna test it. I have a lot of. I mean, I already have around two, two Ethernet cards, and they're enough. But I'll test it once I get this all operational and we're getting into Windows and other stuff. Obviously, needs to get cleaned. And uh, yeah, I uh, want. I wish. I wish this was a uh, an Asus. P3B, P2, P2B even, but uh, yeah, we're working with an MSI, at least not something completely no name, but it is just horrible with capacitors, I mean, there are a couple that are good, but I think all of them will get replaced, yeah, well, that's about it for this video, see you in the next one.